can I try a slice of that? If I had a nickel for every time I've been asked that question, I could buy my own deli and be my own boss. Anyway, how are you doing today? I'm Melanie. I'm the new deli manager here at Barnaby's. I've been here for about a week now. I called that 1-800 number that Zeke mentioned in his post, but that's a different story. I came in for an interview and Pat, uh, Mr Barnaby, hired me on the spot, just like that. I guess he liked my resume. You see, I've been working in delis up and down the East Coast since I was 17. That's all I know. This is my first time being a manager though, let alone in a supermarket. This is on a much bigger level. We have a full-size deli, as well as a bakery, a hot bar and a cake making station that I'm responsible for. We also fry chicken. I didn't know this until I got hired here, but Barnaby's is a very old store. We still have one of those old chicken fryers where you actually have to drop the chicken into the vat, then pull it out with tongs when it floats to the top. There's no basket, no temperature control, you just turn it on and hope it doesn't explode. It's going to be a challenge for me, because before this I've always worked at little mom and pop shops. For those of you that don't know what a mom and pop shop is, it's a small business, usually only one establishment owned by an older couple. Usually. So far the people that shop here are friendly, although you do get that one customer every now and then that makes you want to say bad words, sometimes even make up a few. Anyway. I heard from a couple of night crew guys that Mr. Barnaby is looking for stories about weird and horrible events that happened here. He was off the day this particular incident happened. A couple of days ago, I arrived at work around 6.55am, punched in, did my morning paperwork, then headed to the department. I turned on the lights, put the slices back together and started the ovens. I saw a note on the board from the closer saying that there was an order for a 16-piece chicken meal to be picked up by noon. Okay, no problem. Other deli associates started arriving as scheduled and we opened the deli at 8. Everything was going good. 10 o'clock came and I turned on the fryer so it could heat up. I hit the exhaust fan and continued to wait on customers. About 20 minutes went by and the fryer started making a strange buzzing sound and was shaking a little. I looked over to see that the grease was boiling like a pan of water on a stove. I yelled over to Tommy, my assistant, to turn off the fryer and unplug it. Now as I said, it's a very old fryer. The controls are on the back panel, not on the front like the new ones. He reached over the fry vat to turn it off and as soon as he did, the grease exploded upwards and directly into his face. He screamed, grabbed his face, stepping backwards, knocking over an empty cooling rack and falling to the floor. I've never heard anyone scream like that before. It was horrifying. Hot grease was dripping off the fan and the ceiling, which started melting from the extreme temperatures. Tommy stopped screaming as pieces of ceiling tile started falling to the floor and on top of him, who at this point had passed out from the pain. At least that's what I thought. And the smell, oh my god did it smell. It smelled like, like burnt flesh and chicken. The customers just stood there watching and taking pictures. Freaks. I ran over to him and I probably shouldn't have done this but I grabbed his wrists and moved his hands away from his face. His skin was melted together and looked like string cheese as I pulled them apart. I turned my head to throw up right on a tray of cherry turnovers. I glazed them up real good. I'm never eating cheese again, that's for sure. Blood was pouring everywhere and pieces of flesh started falling off his face as well as burnt muscle and tissue, exposing his skeletal bones. His eyes had completely burned away. I knew I'd been wrong. He hadn't passed out. He was dead. One of the other associates ran and called the cops. They showed up and shut the store down. The sheriff didn't respond, but that's a different story. The coroner arrived, put Tommy in a body bag and took him away. I couldn't stop crying. I'm starting to tear up right now. The deli's been shut down for the last two days while the forensic team processes the scene. They say it should be open again by tomorrow. I haven't been able to sleep the last couple of nights because of the nightmares. I called a therapist. I'm sitting in her waiting room right now writing this, waiting to be seen. Oh yeah, by the way, the customer that ordered the chicken meal? They called as we were all leaving. The order was cancelled.